What is up guys? Kev here and today back with a brand new episode of Power Worlds and today we're going to be looking at how to get resources slightly easier. I need a base upgrade and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing at the moment today. It's just a short sweet video. You can do this for your base. I'd recommend doing it as I'm going to do it within this video. There's going to be no cuts or no jumps. Hopefully, fingers crossed that there is, I do apologize, but we're going to do this pretty silky smooth and pretty easy. I need some high materials, high level materials such as the oil, uh, I need to make gunpowder, I need to make circuit boards and everything else. And I'm going to tell you probably the easiest way to get it. You can go out and kill pals or capture pals, it's entirely up to you, but uh, I want to do it slightly easier. So what I'm going to do is I've unlocked two particular waypoints that you can travel to and I'm dying because of hunger. So let me just cut that out and uh, get some food. Okay, so that was going to be the only cut, hopefully, within this video. If not, I'm going to be a little bit astonished. So what we're going to do is go over to our power box here, and we're going to fast travel. I want to go to two locations in particular that I ne definitely know that there's traders there that I do want. I'm going to go firstly off to the fisherman's point here, and when I'm there, hopefully, I'm going to see at least three traders I know of. Um, and personally, I don't know if I want to grab all three. I know I want to grab a few. So obviously, they've got the wandering merchant here you can actually collect these and again they will be sort of powers in quotations at your base for this one in particular is going to be selling ammo schematics armor and so on and so forth i would like this guy he's going to be very useful i would like to buy the ammo the more so than make it just because of the resource requirements and the amount of time that it takes so i'm going to get a, a legendary sphere and i'm going to try and capture this guy i'm not too sure how it's going to work with these guards but we're gonna see how it goes. If it all goes really bad, that's fine. So I'm obviously gonna get that guy with the ammo. And then the other one in particular is going to be this one down here, which is gonna be another wandering merchant. They don't wander, they're just pretty much there. And for this particular one, he's gonna be selling that high quality power oil, which I want. Some of the other things are good. Bones are really good and horns to make medicines and so on and so forth. Maybe food if you wanna buy that. I wouldn't purchase the mega spheres. This seems pointless, but things like low, sort of low grade or high grade sort of medicines they're really good as they take a lot of time to make so i'm going to grab this guy in particular i'm not too sure how this is going to work i don't know if i should injure him first and then try and capture him i'm going to try it okay not it's not working thus far oh there we go okay got it down there i got these guys trying to kill me which is fine okay so we captured that one the next one is going to be this guy. I want this guy. So we're going to run and get him before he gets shot. <laughs> Absolutely obliterated. That's fine. He has a gun of his own. Obviously, he is a uh, weapons seller. Oh, he's straight back out. Another legendary one there. These are the high-end spheres as well, by the way, I must say. 30%, 62%, and brilliant. We've got him. This guy doesn't seem to know that I'm there. That's fine. Okay, so I got those two, which I would really like. I'm going to try and make a sneaky exit via the waypoint you can hear loads of guns just sort of clicking if i can run around here is this guy gonna flag up no he's not and the second one i wouldn't mind grabbing or a couple of other ones i wouldn't mind grabbing is in uh, this settlement here the dun settle either either you can go between both i've funny feeling i'm gonna get shot here just because my wanted level is up uh, am i being followed i can just hear guns no wait what Okie dokie, very strange. <laughs> I'm I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to carry on. I oh, will want it by two. A sort of two. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to run in here and find a couple of other ones. I'm not too sure if you can do these with the Black Marketeers, which sell the Contraband Pals. Uh, hello, Wandering Merchant. What have you got for sale? Uh, you've pretty much got the same stuff here as well. And if I'm not mistaken, you're going to have the same stuff too. Yeah, that's fine. I, I do believe that they are probably going to sell slightly different stuff within schematic wise. But overall, I think that's fine. Oh, hello. There we go. These guys are off. I want to grab you just in case, because why not? Injure you a little bit. 10% on that one. Oh, I just, I just absolutely murdered him. That is entirely fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably let these guys actually kill me. Probably the better thing to do. There we go. Cool. And now I'm going to respawn back at my base. And then once I've done that, hopefully I can then get these guys out into my base and wandering the premise of my base. Uh, let's go here, which is my base location. 
all in one cut, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully you don't need to edit this at all. And I've got loads of spots down the bottom there. Let's have a look if they're in here. They should be, they are, there they are. So we've got the Wandering Merchant there and another one there. They are dropped, ready to go. And here they are. Brilliant, cool. So I do own these now as pals, which they shouldn't be, which is a little bit weird. But there we go. That's probably the easiest way to do it. You think that it probably won't be easy just because of the fact of, um, you know, you can farm most of these materials and you can gather most of the stuff like the high end oil, the horns and the bones and everything else. But in late game, you'll have so much resources and you'll have so many powers that you can sell and cash in. You have so many items like the gold coins. Again, you can farm those. I mean, look how many I have here. This is just a ridiculous amount. And then you can pretty much trade between the things. That's exactly how I am gonna do it. I wonder how much this sells for, because I'm not too sure. 3,000, that's fine, we'll sell that. And then I'm gonna talk to you good sir. Hello, there we go. Yeah, cool. Oh, did, I, did you not wanna buy them? Is this glitched as well? I'm not too sure how that worked. I don't know how much I have, but that's fine. Oh, I, I, I don't see I can actually purchase anything. This is awkward. Let's go back onto them. Items you have in stock. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Maybe sell one of these? Buy. Oh, they were the coins I had. That's fair. Okay, that's all good. Well, you live and you learn. There we go. So the gold coins that I did actually have, I could actually have purchased through them. But that's fine. I've got I've got another stack of them somewhere in one of these containers. At least I know now. So that's another thing. Don't sell your gold coins. They're actually currency. <laughs> Don't do that. There you go. You've um, you've made a life lesson from my mistake. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to buy here. I'm definitely going to need some sort of high-end oil. So. Yeah, I'm going to have a little sort out. I'm going to sell some stuff and then hopefully I'm going to get a good amount of money back again and then um, do some purchasing once more. But yeah, I think that's a really cool method to do. Again, you don't need to then source these guys that are at your base. It's very easy to get. And as well, trust me when I say this, late game, you'll understand why. But yeah, hopefully not too many cuts in this video i really have not and hopefully you guys did enjoy this video much more power words videos to be coming i've got a ton of videos that i need to get done and get going on and they will be hitting the channel very shortly but guys thanks ever so much for watching this video sorry if it's not in sort of the professional manner i usually do things but you get the general gist of the video guys until the next one stay brave and keep exploring and on a little side note before I go, as you can tell, the uh, Wandering Merchant is actually putting in some time too. He's actually helping on the production line.